We could hide in there. If a monster came. <laughs> Don't think we'll have to. Oh. Well, in case we do. This box has so many colors. Well, must have been an artist living in here. What's an artist? It's like a person who colors a lot, draws, does pictures. You mean like tin? Yeah, like tin. Huh. I like to do pictures too. Oh, shit. I, I didn't know Marlon set you up in this room. I just wanted to grab something from the closet. Where the hell is it? Oh. What? That's what I was looking for. It belonged to Sophie. Uh, Ten Sister. He was asking for more art supplies and stuff, so I was going to. Oh, sorry. We didn't know. No, no. It's it's fine. Don't don't worry about it. Honestly, it's just been sitting here for the past year and no one's touched it. If AJ wants to play with it, it's it's fine. You should probably give the box back. It doesn't belong to us. Thanks, buddy. It's just that Ten wanted it since it was his sister's and all. It's okay. You can finish your drawing, though. I don't mind. Huh. I see you're, um, settling in. Yeah, is that okay? Sure. I guess. I always liked this room. Sophie had, like, paintings and shit on the walls. Lots of color. And Minerva. She was really musical. Not like Lewis, though. She had actual talent. <laughs> she had the most amazing voice. Real bluesy. Marlon always joked that he would scavenge a guitar and the two of them would tour the country. That was a long time ago. After they... Afterwards, Brody and Ten took down all the paintings, and that was the end of it. I shouldn't have even brought it up. It's not a good memory. Guess I just lost my train of thought. No, oh, they sound like they were great friends. Yeah, Sophie was a good friend. And Minnie... Uh, we were close. Me and her. What exactly happened to them? Sophie and Minerva. They went scavenging with Marlon and Brody out past the safe zone. Didn't make it back. It happens. Honestly, I just miss having someone around to talk to. There's just so many dudes. This place can get a little too bro town for my liking sometimes. And I'm not exactly like a people person. You know, I know I sometimes have a habit, have a habit of being a little bit too harsh. You come off all right. I thought you were pretty cool. Oh, um, thanks, I guess. You were pretty cool too, not there against those walkers. Hey, Clem, I'm an artist now. Not bad, kiddo. I should be getting back. Thanks again for the box. You're pretty cool, AJ. See ya. Yeah, see ya. <sighs> okay, Alvin Jr., time for bed. Okay. Here. For me? For the wall, to make our home look nice. That's a good idea, AJ. How about here? Uh, AJ?
Hey there. What are you doing? This is where I'm going to sleep. <laughs> what? No, it's not. It's safe under here. No one can get me. You're going to get cold down there. The bed's a lot warmer. What about the door? What if someone comes in? What if they try to hurt us? What if they steal our stuff? I'll keep watch. I'll sleep with one eye open if I have to. You can't sleep like that. I tried. If I stay here, no one can find me. And I can keep guard and watch over you. I can protect us. <sighs> hey, what's gotten into you? Please, Clem. It's not so bad down here. AJ, listen to me. It's gonna be okay. Please just give the bed a chance. It's soft and warm. I think you'll really like it. <sighs> this bed is really soft. Told you so. It's really, really soft. Good night, AJ. Clem? Hmm? This place is nice. I'm glad we found it. Me too. He's gonna let us stay, right? I guess we're gonna find out. Let's find his office. I know where it is. I'll show you. Up here! Come on, Clem, this way. Hey, AJ, wait up. Tintu. Hey, Clem. Thanks for the pencils. I missed having colors. Sure thing. Who are these guys? They're firefighters. That one's a policeman. She's gonna save the day. But what are they? They... These were the people who protected us. Where are they? I've never seen one before. They're still out there. Someday, maybe you'll meet one. That would be cool. Super cool. Now, give it to me and... No, he's mine now. Hey, give it back. No. You don't even know what they are. Okay, okay. That's enough, you two. It's not yours anymore. It's mine. No, it's not. Fine. Thanks. Do you know where Marlon is? I don't know. He should be around. I can go find him. That'd be nice. Thanks, Ten. Look! Hey, what'd you find? It's a picture of Marlon and Lewis. They're so little. Wow, they've known each other a long time, huh? Marlon? Stay back. Hey, hey, it's okay. Shh. Uh, you, you said dogs brought back bad memories. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were so scared of them. But I swear, Rosie's not as frightening as she seems. <laughs> Sit, girl. See? She's harmless. She just needs to get to know you, is all. Show you. 
Do you trust me? Gross. <laughs> Sorry. I promise she's not gonna bite. <sighs> okay, I guess. Get down on her level. Better get your scent. It's okay. She's not gonna hurt you. There you go. Now whistle and tell her to lie down. Lie down, Rosie. So cool. See? Not so hard. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And now Rosie will recognize you. She's really well trained. She was the headmaster's dog back when this place was still functional. But when the world went to shit, he bailed. All the other adults did. Left us behind to fend for ourselves. Wow. Well, what a dick. <laughs> Understatement of the century. Now it's just us kids left. And I'd like it if you and AJ were part of that. Both of you are plenty capable, and we need that. Here. This is the current state of our plan for gathering food. We are starting to run short. It's getting harder and harder to feed everyone in this school. That's the train station. There was a whole stash of food under the floorboards. Oh, where you crashed your car. Pretty sure that place a lost cause. There's a hell of a lot of smoke coming from it when we found you two. Walkers flooded in there after all the noise you made. What's the trap area? The hunting grounds, more or less. Lewis built some traps out there to catch game. He and Sam are set to go check them today. What's out here? Oh, that's where we fish. Uh, I got a shack for storage right here, right along the river. It's secure mostly. You get the occasional walker or two come by. Vine Brody should be heading out there in a bit. That's the only road that leads in and out of Erickson. If you go off it, you'll eventually end up in the valley. We used to have signs that led people to the school, but I took them down. I wanted this place to be hard to find. I didn't realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part, anyway. The greenhouse? Oh, yeah. Well, don't get too excited about that one. We used to maintain it real well. Had plenty of vegetables growing. But it became overgrown. Upkeep was impossible. Yeah, we, uh, we keep away from that now. One more thing. See these red lines? Yeah. So everything inside is the safe zone. It's been getting smaller over the years, and the food's become more scarce. So, why not go outside it? <laughs> we can't. Whenever someone goes outside the safe zone, bad shit happens. People die or disappear. I just... <clears throat> I could really use the help, Clementine. Taking care of these kids, it's not easy. I'm worried that if I don't figure something out, if, if I don't fix our food situation, I can't lose anyone else. We've already lost so much. Friends, siblings, I can't let another kid die. We're not gonna let that happen. I promise. <sighs> Thanks, Clementine. I appreciate that. I really do. Everyone's counting on me to step up the leader they need me to be. I really want to be that for them. You and AJ are two more mouths to feed. But maybe you can help me feed the rest. So what do you need from us? Lewis and Asim are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. Well, Asim will, anyway. Lewis, I uh, just hope he shows up, if I'm really being honest. Violet and Brody are going up river to do some spear fishing. And hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. Both teams could use some extra hands. Well, 
Let's go do some hunting. Yeah. Take this. I don't want you getting lost. Thanks. We need all hands on deck if we're gonna find any more food. Just remember to stay in the safe zone. We need you to come back home in one piece. So that means we can stay? What? Do you think I was gonna throw you out? Maybe. Well, as long as we got enough to eat, you're both welcome here. Go get him, AJ. All right, let's get going. See you around. Hunting grounds are usually clear of walkers. Sometimes they get caught in the snares and shit, though. You see a ribbon on a tree, traps are nearby. So watch where you step. Please, I think I can handle myself. I'm basically a ninja. Skilled in the craft of martial arts. Thanks for the warning. Careful around those, okay? Okay. Y'all are no fun. We got work to do. Not all of us have the privilege of being Marlin's lapdog. Oh, ouch. Someone's a little jealous. In my defense, I totally get things done. I just prefer to think of survival as more of a day-to-day -day task. So, you know, don't sweat the technique. What about everyone else? We need to work together as a team. I mean, sure, yeah, sometimes. You act like you're the only one with a strategy. You play the long game. You gotta have plans B, C, and D. And what if you don't make it that far? Shh, shut up a second. He's like a walker pinata. Cut it down, fix the snare, and let's go. I will, I will. Eventually. If you want food for the kid, I could use a hand. Or you can mess around with this idiot and starve. It's up to you. Oh, you can starve. So dramatic. Wanna take a swing? It won't bite. Well, that guy would, but the bat won't. You know what I mean? You get it? Uh, all right, I'll take one swing. Now that's what I'm talking about. Sorry about a sim. He's not always so lame. But lucky for you, this is team fun. Team fun? That's right, team fun. And your membership has just been accepted. Now, for our first order of business, a little batting practice. <laughs> Woo! If the Olympics were still a thing, you'd get a silver, no question. A silver, huh? Well, I mean, that could have been a lucky shot. All right! Now you just went and earned yourself a gold. Damn. All right. You gotta make this one count. Come on, Clem. <gasps> Home run! All right, all right. Show's over. See? Don't you feel a little better now that you blew off some steam? You need to get that energy out every now and again. Have some fun. Yeah, actually, I think I needed that. Well, I'm glad you got it. Life's too short to be a stress ball all the time. 
A sim loves giving me crap about having a good time. Always telling me I'm not thinking long term. We need to guarantee our future. All that horse shit. But I tell him right back. There's only one guarantee. This moment. That's the only thing you got. Only thing any of us got. Might as well enjoy it. I'll untie our friend here and reset the snare if you go check on a sim. Clem! Clem, come here! Look, it got one. It's a baby. Well, all meat is good meat. It's not enough. Release it. Why'd it get bigger? I'm hungry. So am I. But we'll be even hungrier tomorrow if we don't let him go. Tomorrow doesn't exist, dingus. There's just today. And today I'm hungry. We're hungry. Are you gonna do it? I can't watch. Bye, bunny. Really? What are we supposed to eat tonight, then? Ah, oh, I get it. I wouldn't want to kill a baby bunny, either. He'll thank me in a few months. If we live that long. All right. Well, the snares have all been reset and are ready to trap things. We good to go now, or what? I'll take this back. You two should meet up with Brody and Violet and see if they've managed to snag any fish. This isn't going to be enough for the whole school. I like fish. That's great. See ya. Follow me. The girls are probably near the shack. Do you like fish? I once ate a whole shark. No, you didn't. Where's Vi and Brody? They should be here by now. Clem, look. Monster. Vi wouldn't have just left this out in the open. Wait, isn't that one of our spears? Clem, lock's busted. We might not be alone. It's clear. Holy shit! This place is wrecked! All our supplies are gone! I'll take a look around outside. Hold tight. Are we in danger? Maybe. Cigarette. Hand rolled. Is this a Bible page? Clementine? What the hell happened in here? Do any of the kids smoke? Nope. Nothing to smoke. No sign of our thief. Thief? Oh, shit. We just walked a mile of river and the traps were all empty. No fish. None. Someone robbed us? Oh, great. And now we're gonna starve. Fuck. That's... Fuck. Fuck. It's just... Fuck. It's okay. It's... Breathe, Brody. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. You're gonna be fine. <sighs> fuck. Hey, easy. We'll still find enough food to get us just through Just shut the... the fuck up, okay? Brody, just chill. I, I have to tell Marlon about this. Um, we still need food. You know, to live. We definitely don't have enough here. You guys figure it out. So what do we do? Eat rocks? We can't eat rocks. I'm aware. Will Marlon kick us out if we don't find food? Well, let's not find out. Where else could we look? Let me think. The train station. It's not too far from here. 
I don't know, that's pretty far outside our perimeter. There was food in there when AJ and I passed through. It's worth a look. You sure there was food? Positive. Yeah, some of it was destroyed in the explosion, but there has to be something left. There was so much there. All right, fine. Lead the way. There. That's where the food is. A lot more walkers than last time, though. We're gonna die. It's either die here or die from hunger. Take your pick. Clem, maybe you should scope things out. You know the place better. Let me get a closer look. Can't be too careful. That bell might be able to get the walkers' attention. They do like to follow sound. to get in there somehow. Maybe there's another way in. We barely got out of here. It was close. It sounds scary. There's a reason. Could climb up there, but I don't know how that would get us inside. You look like you've got an idea. The noise from that bell could draw a lot of walkers. If one of us climbs up there and starts ringing it... Lewis. I vote Lewis. Uh, hold on. I'd like to make an alternate suggestion. Come on, Lou. You're loud, dramatic, a little annoying. You're basically a walking distraction. Just get up there. The quicker we get this over with, the better. Decisive. I like that in a woman. Just stop. Stop. I'll go with you. Give you some cover. Fine. I'll do it. But if I die, I'm making sure Walker Lewis eats both of you first. I'll distract them until I see you guys reach safe cover. Then, I'll try to redirect the smelly patrol to give you guys a chance to sprint inside the building. When we get into position, I'll signal you. Then you can do your thing. Good luck! Hey, ugly! No, not you. Not you either. Tim! second. We may not have a second. I'll watch the door for walkers. Okay, AJ and I will sneak in, grab the food and get out. Sounds good. Let's make it quick.
These will be perfect. Plim, look. Try it out. See if it works. Gonna need your help on this one, kiddo. You still got your gun? Just in case. Just in case. Good job, AJ. Is there more? Keep it coming. Stand. Slowly. Don't yell. Don't try anything. I won't hurt you. I don't have to. Who are you? The name's Abel. And I'm hungry as hell. You and your friends made a lot of noise out there wasn't hard to follow. You live close by? You knew about this place already, and organized some effort to get inside. Just passing through. Decided to see what we could scavenge. Uh-huh. And you just got extra lucky. Side, I'm thinking maybe more. Tell me about your group first. <laughs> uh, I miss the days when we were all so goddamn cagey. It's just me and my ugly face out here. Lonely, ugly, and hungry. Now, I'm gonna fill this pack real slow. We worked hard to get this stuff. Hey there, Squirt. Playing hide and seek, are we? Now that's impolite. Don't steal from us. I'm not stealing. This isn't yours. I can kill you, you know. Come on, kid. I'm faster than you. Listen up, Squirt. You're gonna quit pointing that gun at me and let me go my Mary. You understand? to me Marlon listen to me I am telling you the place was ransacked it's fine we'll deal with it took y'all a while how poor are they that have not patience a Sam Mitch 
Check it out! Food! That's like a lot of food. Observant as ever, Mitch. I can't believe this. Look at it. You're our savior, Clem. Like, seriously, it's a lot. Lewis and Violet helped too. Neither of them ever brought back this much before. Neither had you. Where did you find all this? The old train station. Clem knew where it was. Train station? That's outside the safe zone. We'd have even more, but we ran into the creep that fucked up our fish traps. Creep? What creep? Clem saw him smoking those nasty-ass Bible cigarettes. He had weird, different colored eyes. Did he follow you? Nope. I shoved him into a pack of walkers. They took a chunk out of him. It was awesome! Look, I don't know if he got out of there, but if he did, he won't make it for long. You attacked him? What the fuck? If he survived, you know he's coming back for revenge. What the hell were you thinking? <sighs> this is fucked. If I hadn't done what I did, he would have shot us. I made the right call. Bullshit! What if there are others? You don't know what people are capable of out there. Think again. I, I just can't. I won't. Just not again. Fuck! What the hell's going on here? She took them outside the safe zone. They saw someone. You know what that means! Enough! Just means there's a hungry guy out there looking for food. It's happened before. You are overreacting. You can't be serious! Come on, let's go somewhere and talk about this. If anything happens, I'm holding you responsible! Clem, I know I asked you for help. You did, you did, but... Shit. God, nothing's easy. It was risky, but it was worth it. Like you said, we can't lose another kid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did say that. <laughs> well... At least we're eating tonight. For the next few, I'd wager. Um, I'll go talk to Brody. Thanks for the haul, Clem. You guys should go enjoy it. You've earned it. Don't sweat it, Clem. Ever since we lost Sophie and Minnie, Brody's been freaked out by anything that happens past the safe zone. She'll be all right eventually. Still, we should make sure this is a one-time thing. We can take Rosie out in the morning, see if she catches a scent. You know, just in case. I'm gonna go clean up. I think I'll go too. See you later. Don't worry about them. They're just sad. Sad? Why? My sisters died around this time last year. I think it's starting to get to people. Doesn't it get to you? Not really. Dying's not scary. I mean, it's sad, but not scary. You've been in here too long. When you see more death, you'll be a lot more afraid of it. Or maybe a lot less. I try not to focus on them being gone. I like picturing where they'd be now, instead. Sophie was awesome at making stuff. She'd build a place big enough for all of us to live. And paint it too. And Minnie'd be playing whatever new song she wrote. I guess that doesn't scare me because I know I have something waiting on the other side. Someplace safe and happy. Looks like a nice place to wind up. Yeah, I think so too. A lot better than some smelly old school. Who are those guys? 
the walkers who killed them. You want them there too? They weren't always walkers. Wherever this place is, everyone gets to be a person again. Sometimes I draw the walkers the way they probably looked. Sometimes I draw Minnie and Sophie the way they probably left them. But sometimes I draw this too. Can, can I be there? Sure. You want to be there too? I promise I'll draw you well. You just gotta hold still. Sure, why not? Oh, I almost forgot. Here you go. It's yours. It's ours. It's getting late. Yeah, you guys should get some sleep. Aren't you coming? Not yet. I want to finish this first. Good night. See you tomorrow. It's clear. Time for bed, little guy. Can I stay up? Nope. Two more minutes. Tell you what, you lay down, and then we'll see. You full from dinner? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was. I like it here. We gotta go hunting. And Lewis let us hit the walker like a pin, a, a pin. Pinata. Yeah, and that was scary, but it was fun. It's nice not driving everywhere or running away. But the ranch was nice too, before the blood. This isn't the ranch. Do you like it? I like it, now that I'm used to it. It's good, for now, but places change, so do people. It might not stay good. Don't worry, we're not leaving. There, you gotta stay up two minutes more. Time for sleep. I'll lay down when you blow out the light. All right, give me a minute. There. That's a good drawing. He's a good artist. Your picture is good, too. Oh, I know. So used to lugging this everywhere. Never knowing when we'd find any supplies. I feel a lot lighter. Good night, sleep tight, don't let a walker bite. And if they try, I never let them bite. Come on, play it right. One time, bang. <laughs> Good work, and thanks. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
There's voices in the pipes. I think someone's in trouble. Is it us? No, no, no. Not right now. But we should help them. If it's a monster, we should kill it. I don't think it is. You got your gun. Uh-huh. I'll be right back. Stay safe. Are you okay? They sound mad. Don't worry. I'll find out what's going on. I know. Sides. Can't pick it. I have to find another way to the basement. A cellar door out in the yard. another entrance to the basement around here. was them. She also said he got bit, which means he ain't gonna bother us. You know he's not alone. Those bastards are back and it's only a matter of time before they find us. You I know that- Oh shit! Nothing to you! What are you doing down here, in the dark? Brody and I were just talking. Go get some sleep. You deserve some shut-eye. You had a busy day. Didn't exactly sound like a polite conversation. What are you fighting about? It's really none of your business. Go back to the dorm. The man you met at the station! We got history! Brody! 
Don't listen to her, Clem. She's acting crazy. She gets this way sometimes. She's just gotta tune it out. Don't be afraid, Brody. Say what you have to say. What history? Marlin let him take the twins. Him and his people. Brody! Ten sisters. I thought they were killed by walkers. That's the story we told everyone. Shut up! Because Marlin was so ashamed Shit. of what- Shut up! What'd you say? She... I'm sorry. Shit! What have you done? I'm so sorry. So, so, so. You're gonna be okay. I promise. God damn it! Hell! Did you say that? I told you not to say it! How? What can I do? Just, just stay with her. There's a first aid kit down here somewhere, right? First aid kit? Brody, it's me, Clem. Just, just stay still. Uh, who? Uh, I, I, I can't see. Clementine, remember? Clem, you're in danger. You and AJ both. What danger? Marlon will kill me if I tell. He's scared. And when he's scared, he gets angry. Brody, if there's a threat to AJ, you have to tell me. Everything is so faint. I can't feel my legs. Please, try and focus. If those raiders come back, Marlon said he'd let them take you. Take us? To make him go away. <laughs> like he did. <laughs> like he did with ten sisters. Brody. Oh, fuck. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. What the hell am I gonna do? it in there and lift up the latch. work.
Why Brody? Did you see it happen? Is she a walker now? Hey, Marlin! You might want to get your story straight. Clem! You killed Brody. You hit her so hard, her head split open. That's a lie! I saw you kill her! What the hell is going on? Look at her hands! She's covered in Brody's blood! What did you do? We saved their lives when anyone else would have kept walking. We fed them, we kept them warm, and this is how they thank us! Guns being pulled in, murder! Well, fuck them! Fuck! Marlin! Jesus Christ! Go ahead! You already took one life today! What's another one for the pile? What's holding you back, Marlin? Cowardice? Guilt? Or both? <laughs> Brody told me Marlin was gonna give me and AJ up to Raiders in exchange for safety! The same way he gave up Sophie and Minnie! Wait. Oh my god! Shut the fuck up, Clementine! Let her talk! Brody told me the truth, and that's when Marlin killed her! Oh, come the fuck on! They only met up with these raiders because Clem insisted they go out there! Quite the coincidence, isn't it? Shame, I don't believe in those. Think about how scared we all were when the adults left. I pulled us out of that fear. I gave us all courage again. Who are you all gonna believe, huh? Johnny come lately and a little fucking lunatic? Or me? Fred? She did help us get food. What good is food if a group of outsiders just gonna come along and take it? I'm just saying. Man, this is fucked up. Lucas, don't let him do this. Oh no, I am not involved. What? I like you, Clem, but I... Not me. I'm sorry. You're a... On your own. I'm sorry. You let him shoot me. Really? Just so you don't have to get involved. I thought you were more than that. Shit. Marlin, come on, man. Drop the gun. Lewis! She killed Brody! We can't let her walk away. Clem, I... I, I gotta trust Marlin. I just... I gotta. I always have. He didn't trust you with the truth. He lied to you about the twins. He doesn't deserve your trust. Shut the fuck up! You don't know what you're doing, man. Come on, dude, just drop the gun. This is how adults do things, not us. Stand down, Marlon. Be reasonable. You don't 
get it. You, you don't understand at all, do you? I'm trying to protect you! All of you! Every fucking one of you! How is pointing a loaded gun around protect anyone? Brody's dead. Sophie and Minerva are gone. You suck at protection. Shut your fucking mouth! I made the right call. I saved the lives of everyone in this fucking school. If they came back, I'd do it again. Excuse me? I didn't realize we were so fucking expendable. They told me they died. I had to save the rest of you, okay? You gave my sisters away. Why would you do something like that? I trusted you, Marlin. They trusted you. He was in a tight spot. He did the wrong thing, but he thought it was for the right reason. That doesn't mean he shouldn't have to pay for it. I wanted to get them. Stage some kind of rescue. Honest, Ted, I just couldn't. I was, I was too afraid. You killed Brody because she knew. I didn't mean to. I didn't want this. I wanted to save all of you. Sophie. Minerva. She didn't want to hurt them. Thank <laughs> you. 